Hey guys, it is Kamaya Tarpley, I'm your favorite round face author and green haired for right now, short green haired book reviewer. Uh, today we're actually going to be reviewing a new book. Um, I do have to warn you in advance, it is about a very taboo sketch subject no one really wants to talk about. So um, if you are sensi, sensitive, this might not be the video for you. Um, the book we're gonna be talking about today is Wolves in the Dark by Gunnar. Stolson. Stolson. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, so this book is about a 59 year old man. He is a private investigator. Um, one day he's just like, just people swooping on him, take him. They're like, you're under arrest. Like, for what? Um, and he learns that it's for child pornography. They found out that on his computer there was just like a plethora, like a whole collection. So He's taken in and he's just like, what? What happened? What? What's going on? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Like he's just claiming innocence left and right, left and right. And everyone's just like, yeah, sure. Okay. Sure, Vern. I don't know how you pronounce the name. It's, it's actually translated from Norwegian. So I'm just guessing how you pronounce these names. Whatever. You guys know how I am. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I can write English, I just can't speak it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's coming in since left and right one's just like, nah. And then um, the prosecution actually shows him some evidence of theirs, which is just like, oh, this is incriminating. It's pictures of him with a child and stuff. And he's just like, oh my gosh. And just like, everyone's just like, how are you gonna come back from that? How, like, how? <laughs> like, there's no proclaiming incense after that and stuff and he knows it so like as soon as he's in pictures like first he like vomits and stuff he's just like I'm not like that um and then he books it he runs he's just like boom I'm out so he runs but when he runs he actually runs to go find out what happened like who could have had this computer who could have put these images here so pretty much like the whole book uh you're what you're really debating in your head like did he do it or did he not do it and stuff like there's so many things that add up against him, but there's so many things that, you know, add up for him. So you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> you're so confused. I was getting mad. Okay, I was getting mad. So I was just like, I feel like, I don't know if you did it, but we better find out soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, and he, it also actually is very much linked to a case he was working prior to, you know, everything that was going on. Um, just in another major thing that's an issue is that he's an alcoholic and stuff like 100% drunk. So he's not 100% sure if he did do it. He's pretty much just like, I didn't do it, but if I did do it, I don't remember. And you're kind of just like, <laughs> that's not, that sounds like a typical guy of 2018 and stuff like, oh, well, you know, I may have went to her house, but if I did, I don't remember. So I guess it didn't happen and I never cheated. And you're just like, come on. <laughs> um but yeah so that's the book i actually really liked it it was very well written in a sense that there's so many plot lines there's so many things going on but i personally was able to keep up which means you guys will be able to keep up because i struggle <laughs> like i have a real issue keeping up with many plot lines and many characters and this has both of them but he did such a good job at reading it that i was able to like really boom boom keep track keep track keep track um, and the names are very unique. So it's also a lot easier. It's not like those Sarah, you know what I mean? No offense to any Sarahs out there. This, this is just an example. You're fine, you're fine. Um, it's also an international bestseller. So obviously that tells you in itself, it's more than likely a good book. Um, but while we're on the subject, uh, I'm gonna say I'm very anti uh, pedophilia. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, so that's why the book was just very like, it was kind of bothersome to read, but it was very interesting because I know there's a lot of things going on, especially like in the news right now of like teachers, uh, you know, basically like molesting their students and stuff. And just, there's all these like really awful, awful things that are happening to children. Um, and that have been happening to children in like third world countries because people act like they don't care about them, but their kids too, they don't deserve what they get. I'm just saying. I get mad about the subject. Um, I'm very anti that because children are so innocent and pure and just like super dope, except for the silver teeth kids, okay? Those kids are not dope. Those kids are bad, okay? I don't care what anybody says. Those are bad kids if they have silver teeth, but even they don't deserve it, okay? No child deserves it. 
There's no excuse for it. Don't be a disgusting, like, piece of... Uh, I, I can't even say it because my mom watches my videos and I try really hard not to curse in them. Sometimes I have the urge, especially when it's a subject like this because they absolutely deserve it. Um, I actually kind of touch really quick. I actually kind of touch on this a little bit in my latest book, Sugar Coated Savages. Um, just to kind of hashtag spoiler alert, give you guys a little example. Like one of the people who are deputy parents is actually a mom and she's actually labeled as that because a uh, parent who's not around because the father had to like kick her out because she he just found out she was like molesting their daughters and i gave her the most brutal murder like i had the sugar coat savages tear her apart like if you seriously if you ever get a chance to read my book read it because it was savage and she deserved it and that's what all pedophiles deserve okay you don't deserve anything good you deserve to be torn apart bye um but yeah, um, and just kind of like my last note on this, because I feel like the biggest, while it's a good book, the biggest thing to really kind of take away for me, because like child porn rings and pedophilia is so prominent and for some reason has not gone away. Um, listen to your kids, dude. Like listen to their, what they're saying to you. Listen, look at how they change. Look at their mannerisms, their body language. Like uh, kids need you to pay attention to them at the end of the day they really do like it may seem like they don't sometimes but they genuinely do no matter how old they get and stuff like even when they're in their teens and high school and stuff their brains not fully developed to really kind of take in what's going on and what's happening to them so please like pay some kind of attention to them uh i know i have my own personal experience with that especially in the black community children are more uh supposed to be listened to or excuse me looked at and not listened to you're not supposed to have a voice when you're a child in my community. So at least for me, I had a really severe bout with depression when I was a kid. It was extremely severe. Like it was really bad. Um, and I ended up writing an essay and handing it over to each one of my family members. Like, this is why I feel this way. This is where my depression is taking me. And this is how I'm trying to keep myself from, you know, the edge. This is how I help myself. Like, cause no one helped me. So, and I don't want you guys to think, you know, any lower of like my family or anybody's family for, that because sometimes it's generational um sometimes you can't help that there are signs that you don't see now my family is better about it and stuff like they're a lot cooler especially like my mom um she definitely uh changed things around because at least for her i know it's definitely generational to not really like pay attention to that kind of stuff um but now she absolutely does and she buys me lunch a lot so she's making up for it <laughs> um but yeah listen to your kids pay attention Watch out for predators because they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Seriously. And stop letting people kiss your baby on the mouth. Okay, if I have to read one more story about a baby getting herpes because you let somebody kiss them on the mouth, I'm going to... Stop! Okay, well, that's it for today. All right, love you guys. Bye.